Hey there, I'm Source Make, and welcome to a quick get it starting guide on Google's testing framework for C++. So in this video, we are going to talk about unit tests really quickly. We are going to install Google testing framework, the framework on our Ubuntu virtual machine so that we can use it in the future for all of our projects. And then we are going to test it out on some actual C++ code. So everything you need for this topic is right here on the website. Go ahead and click the link below this video to get to this webpage. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe and like button for this YouTube video. Thanks. So what are unit tests? Unit tests are simply tests for our C++ code or any code that we write. Basically, we want to make sure that the users can't like input something weird and crash our servers and that our code actually works for every like edge case and any expected, you know, that there are no errors in our code. Every... Um, piece of code that we write actually needs a unit test. That's like the best practice, especially in large applications. So for C++, Google has their own testing framework and it's really good because it's made by Google. Actually, it's just really good in general. It's not like it's because it's Google. It's, it's actually just really good. So you can go to this webpage on GitHub and you can see it. It's open source. And we're interested in installing it on Ubuntu, which is what we're going to do right now. So I've got my Ubuntu virtual machine running. I haven't done this before, so we're going to install this together. I'm going to scroll down to the webpage that we need right here. Um, this is the project directly that we're going to work in, but it doesn't really matter. Right now, we are just opening a terminal and we're going to install some stuff. So let's go ahead and install this. And let me type my password. So um, the stuff is going to install. We need libg test dev, which is actually the Google testing framework, I think. Then we need to install CMake if we don't already have it. And while we're doing this, let me just, yes, let me just shout out to this guy's website because he actually showed me like this is the resource that I use to actually make this tutorial so make sure to check this guy out this website I guess it's pretty cool too it was helpful to me for this topic um, so, so we're installing CMake that just finished now we're going to CD into the folder that Google testing framework got installed in Google testing framework is written in C++ so we need to actually compile it so you can see right down here, we are seeding into the gtest folder. And if you ls it, you can see that there's some stuff here. We are going to cmake the actual cmake file, which is just going to compile it because again, it's, it's like raw C++ code that we need to compile to use, which is why we actually even need this topic. We can't just install like the library and it works like magic. So we cmake it, then we actually make it with sudo make. And this last one is just going to install a symbolic link or something like that. So I can actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll do the symbolic link. I don't know if this is necessary, but it was on the guy's website. So, yeah. Okay, so now we have Google Testing Framework installed and we can use it on our machine. So anytime you have a new virtual machine, just follow those steps. But let's test it out really quickly in a quick project. So let's uh, close this because you, you remember it's in the Testing Framework directory right now, but we want to go back to our project directory for our test code that we're going to write. So let's touch a uh, square root.cpp. And as a spoiler alert, we're going to um, actually make this other CPP file. We're going to make a, C, um, a square root function in C++, and we're going to have a unit test for that just to make sure that it works as we expect. And finally, we're going to touch the cmix. File. And I'm going to show you how this works in a second. So first of all, our square root function. Let's move this over here a little bit and let's copy the code. I'm not blocking too much of it. Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to copy this code and just to quickly go over it, include the math library. We've got a function that returns a double named square root. It accepts um, a double as the input and it just returns ne negative one if you can't do the square root. Or it just returns what the square root is based on the, you know, the library is going to take the square root for us. So really simple function, square root, you know, your function is going to be more complex maybe, but w when you do your own code, but let's keep it simple for now. So now for our testing function, we are going to use C++ testing framework to test this out just to make sure that it works. So we include the actual square root function, the, the file, and we include the google testing frameworks library 
And then we have just this test. You can look at the documentation, but basically we assert that the square root of six, um, the square root of 36 is equal to six. And this is basically the syntax for it. I don't really want to go into this because you can read the documentation on it, but this is basically how you run the test. So we have two tests. One is for the positive test and one is for the negative test. That's just the way the style is. And then we have an int main in here that is going to initiate the Google testing framework, and then it's going to return run all tests. And, and this is the style of it. Again, you can read the documentation, but we're just making sure that the installation works correctly for us. So that's our testing code. And now we need to actually see make this testing framework to make it work. So you can see the code right here. Can I make it a little bigger? No, not really. But it's it, you just say the C make minimum version. Then we locate our G test. And we include the directory. This is all just standard stuff that the guy was using. Then we execute the test. And what are we executing? We are executing this file, which is our unit test for the square root function, because that's what we want to do. And we just, you know, run it afterwards. So let's go ahead and do that. So the way we're going to run this is we're going to see make our CMake file. And in the future, for your own projects, you can, you know, just change the actual test file or add whatever you need to do. So we see make that. Now we have a make file that got that got generated for us. We're going to make. And yes, so it built the tests for us. It built the executables to run the test. And that's the execute test. It's a file, but it's an executable file. Now we're going to run it like it's a shell script, you know, dot slash. And we run it and we can see that run. OK, square root positive test. It, it runs OK and the negative test works okay, and that's how you use it. So that's Google's um, testing framework for C++. You saw how we used it. We did a really basic test. If you want to extend it for your own code, you can write your unit test, you can try it out, you can read the documentation, but that's it. So you now have it installed on Ubuntu. You can, you know, any anytime you need to use it, just follow the guide. So that was Google's testing framework. I'm SourceMake. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow me in case you want to see other cool tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.